Yo, I was looking at a brochure about cruise ships, uh, entertainment places that float and go from place to place. Uh, when I read the brochure, it looked potentially pleasant. The thing I noticed was that the uh, client to staff ratio was about two clients for every staff member. I thought that that should be about 10 clients for every staff member because that would make the uh, entertainment more affordable. Yet I also really uh, favor reducing the number of people at the service professions. I, I think that uh, cleaning or preparing food should be uh, done with electromechanical mechanisms. Thus, this video is about uh, new kinds of vacuum cleaners that clean more efficiently. Now, when you think about it, uh, places like a cruise ship have um, pleasant standardized carpet sizes. Thus, you could create something like a rug that was rolled up, and then when you unrolled it, uh, the entire surface of the thing that was like a rug would um, be like a vacuum, so it would uh, lift up uh, material from an area that might be like seven feet on a side or something like that. Also, uh, I've noticed that the um, width of the uh, vacuum cleaner, the, uh, the, the length of the part that actually has the uh, dirt removing action, um, is actually only about a third as uh, long as some uh, dust brooms that I've seen that people can learn to use that have kind of a uh, special rotator angle thing near the base. Thus, I think it's actually possible to make a vacuum cleaner that is three times as wide at the base uh, which might actually require just a slight amount of learning to accomplish. Uh, yet, when you have something like that, it means that vacuuming can be three times as efficient, which means that you could use a third as many staff members uh, to vacuum. And with the um, thing that's like a roll-up rug that you just put in place, uh, that could clean large common areas very rapidly. So those are two approaches. Also, uh, another approach, you could use computers. And the computers could view each one of the rooms. And then it could find out where people actually walked. And then uh, the person using the vacuum could actually be able to tell just which areas they needed to vacuum to refresh the room. Also, I think that there's a... Uh, a psychological perspective or, or a um, perception perspective. You could call rooms that had uh, were tidied up only like once every three days privacy enhanced or privacy assured or something like that. And then people would know that they were uh, getting more privacy and they would might like that. Also, uh, there's the possibility that doing these kinds of things would make uh, entertainment lodging, which is sort of like what cruise ships are, uh, more pleasant and more fun. Because if you added a uh, client entertainment staff member for every three or four cleaning positions you removed, then the social facilitation of the uh, people on the cruise would be higher, and they might really enjoy that. I also favor the um, replacement of most kinds of uh, food service with things like automats, which could actually have food that tasted just as good or better, but the amount of um, human service would be reduced. Now, here's a, here's a question. Escorts and prostitution. I think those are... Uh, potentially very beneficial profession. Now, does my preference that people 
have electromechanical devices as replacements for uh, human service workers apply to sex workers? It does. Uh, the thing is, is that some sort of electromechanical replacement for human escorts and prostitutes is an important and valuable technology to develop as rapidly as possible so that those people can all find different things that they would rather do more. Now, there's an opportunity right now simply to join uh, social groups that have a uh, sexual contact purpose, adult friend finder as well. Yet when you think about it, uh, replacing prostitutes and escorts with some sort of electromechanical device, possibly a humaniform robot, really is a benefit to human beings. 